Okay, this is how we balance the blades by the moment method. Uh, you see the pivot point if you draw a line through the bolt holes, and then we lift that up a little, get, little bit, and then we lean the tip on the scale. That comes out in grams, and then we write the grams on the root of the blade. Now we've checked the moment weight on the three blades. We've got 0, 3.4 grams, 0, 4.2, and 0, 4.7 grams. Those are, the, those are the before balance numbers. Now we're putting the rod inside the blade. Okay, what kind of rod is that, Ron? You get uh, some rod that'll fit inside the blade, inside the torsion rod. What for? And that's to see where the weight's going to wind up inside the blade. So now he's going to hold his hand on, the, on there, and now we can see exactly where that weight is going to wind up inside the blade. So then we take a piece of the weight. This is solid copper wire, and we put it on there with a little piece of tape, and then uh, check the scale. Okay, now we're cutting different pieces of wire until we get the desired weight that we want so that we can make them all the same. And now we're checking where it's going to wind up inside. And uh, 0.46. And we're looking for 0 0.47. So oh, 0, 0 so 0.47 is what we're looking for. So this one is, is, is balanced now. Yes, that one's good. OK. So okay, so now this is 10 gauge solid copper wire with the insulation on. We've got the correct amount of weight there. He's going to bend the wire a little bit, and then he's going to put it in. And then he's going to take the long steel rod. Okay, so now he's going to tap this uh, all the way down. it until it goes to the end of the torsion rod. Now it's now it's in place. Just tap it in there like you're loading a musket. Pull out the rod, and now the now we've got the final balance on the blade, and we'll write that final balance number on the root of the blade. You can see, he's got the before balance numbers on the blade. Now he's going to write the final balance number on the blade on each blade. So the final balance number is is matching. <laughs> Oh, he's 0, 4.7. Okay. And then uh, the before balance numbers do not match, but they're close. Okay, first of all, you need to check where the torsion rod is going to wind up inside the blade to see if one blade is going to be compatible with the next blade. So with this, we've got it all the way in there. I'm pulling it out. I'm putting it on, and I'm measuring the distance here. 22 inches. So the next blade, you're going to want it to be uh, around 22 inches. You're not going to want to be able to, you know, you don't want to put it to have a blade that's already full of weight and, and start adding weight down here to make it to match or it's not going to work. So if it's going to be around here on all, all three blades, it's going to be compatible. But if one blade you're adding weight down here, it's not going to be compatible.